All right, man. I thought it was going to be my last CB video the other day, but we're back on the bench again. They just keep appearing out on the front porch, and uh, I'm not going to make a full bench test video for this radio because you guys know what I do, and I'm super busy right now at this time of the year. But I just wanted to show an output test for Louie in Texas, I believe. Yeah, I think Louie in Texas here. This thing has the 2030 FET mod done to it, and the slug was MIA. So I took a wrap off of L14 and put a slug in it, tuned that slug to peak, and C73 was missing on this radio. That disables the whole AMC circuit. So it was a complete splatter box. It was flat topping horribly along with that FET in it. It was only a matter of time before the FET was gonna blow. So, especially with that much garbage going through it. So we got it cleaned up the best we can. I replaced the meter because that was sticky. And I added the uh, fixed swing mod to this radio to lower the dead key. And I believe it's set between, it's about one and a half watts. Down at one watt, it was just pretty dirty. And especially if you have the FET mod done to it, you have a MOSFET in here and MOSFETs in the amp here. So MOSFETs are known to be dirty devices. The bipolar devices are much cleaner. So we definitely got the flat topping out of it. The waveform's not perfect. Audio is clean and mean. Did a full factory alignment on the transmit and the RX. And everything checks out good on this. The receiver was a little bit detuned, a few of the cans. And this meter was out of calibration. It was reading pretty high. We got that set back to a S9 on minus 70. 250 watt slug, so we're looking at the top scale. Uh, right in between the five and the zero is 25. This is 50, 75, 100, 150. Keying just under 25 there. It's perfect. Ooh. Doing about 50, 60 RMS. Peak, looking at the same scale. Here's your 25, swinging about 160. Audio, one, two. <clears throat> 25, swinging about 150, 160. Audio, one, two, audio, one, two. Check, 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 check. Oh, ah. Uh. Keying about seven, drawing about 10 to 12. Uh, it's pretty much impossible to get these perfectly clean with a low carrier and FETs, like I said, but if you wanted this radio to be 100% clean on the waveform, which in my opinion isn't really that important because I'm not a huge band purist, you would have to have the uh, 2030 IRF high powered mod reversed and we would have to put a bipolar transistor back in this radio again. So that would be a whole nother job, man, if you want to end up doing that down the road or not. And it would also show slightly less wattage after that's done. But the thing with the FETs is they show a little bit more when they're cold but then once they get hot, they actually dip down almost to where the bipolar is, if not maybe even lower. So they don't handle heat very well. Oh one two three four five. Check check check. Hello. Audio. Oh one two. Uh three four and five. Mike came wide open. Swinging 150 watts up there. Talking all day long. Bumpity bump bump. Check check. As long as you got that forward RMS, be dropping that hammer. That's right. A 577 jersey said it. Don't you forget it. Thank you very much, Louie. I'll get this thing wrapped up and uh, shipped off to you in a couple days. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bump, bump, check, check. Oh. Oh. That's not doing too bad, huh? Not doing too bad at all. Oh. 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 Mm -hmm.